congregation and let the church say amen. <laughs> I'm Pastor Matt, hoping your Palm Sunday was a calm fun day and welcoming you to a super special installment of HQ Bible Trivia. Let's find out who's fantastical on the ecclesiastical. I hope you've been paying attention in church because we're digging deep into the scriptures tonight. Genesis to Revelation, it's all fair game. And we're not just throwing 12 questions out for no reason. There's cash in this catechism, all right? If you answer all 12 questions that we're about to ask, you and your fellow theologians will partake of tonight's extra lordly $10,000 prize pot. That's a lot of Sunday afternoon trips to Denny's. And you'll need a big collection plate to hold it all. That's, you know what I'm saying? All right, we're also doubling tonight's VIP pot to $3,000, which is gonna be split up among the winning ticket holders just as long as we sell 200 tickets. So tonight, all of all nights, show a little faith and act fast because ticket sales stop at 300. We got 62 in it right now. It's gonna be a nice chunky prize for the VIP winners if they get in there. And we're also so happy about last night's charity, the UJA Foundation of New York, that we're doubling up and supporting them again tonight because the great work they do just takes two nights to talk about, okay? Listen to all this. Along with everything we told you last night, the Federation fights poverty through food pantries, emergency assistance, and shelter. They help care for millions of elderly people through mental health services, meal delivery, and companionship. And through it all, they advocate for these and other vulnerable groups, mobilizing community members for criminal justice reform, environmental justice, gun violence, and other timely issues. So once again, HQ is spreading the word about UJA Foundation of New York and making another donation. Here's their VP from Brand and Marketing, Miram. Take it away. Hey, HQ, UJA Federation of New York here. Thanks so much for spotlighting us as a featured partner. We're so honored to be here. We're the world's largest local philanthropy, and we care for people in need here in New York and around the world. We have been on the ground, on the front line since day one of the pandemic last March, feeding families, helping people find employment, helping with mental health crises, and bringing the vaccine to vulnerable and isolated communities. We just cannot do it without you. So thank you so much for your support. And good luck tonight, H Cuties. All right. You heard her. The address again is ujafedny.org. Right here. Look them up. Hook them up. Every donation goes to that amazing work that I just told y'all about. Real quick, I got to remind you that tomorrow night is HQ Trivia. Return anniversary! One year since we came back from obl oblivion, <laughs> we rose from the ashes like the mighty pigeon. And uh, that's funny because it was a typo when I tweeted it. Mint Phoenix, spell pigeon. Okay, it'll be a special game with some of the best and brightest HQDs asking the questions. Come on by and celebrate with us, all right? Well, everybody seems to have arrived for the service. Are you all seated comfortably? Not likely on those old wooden pews. Well, we're having a fundraiser for cushions next month, so bear with us in the meantime, or bring a sweater to sit on. You can always do that. Remember, as we go forward, the message of the good book, uh, only those who are just and pious and who have learned well the scriptures can crush the competition and win all the money. That's in the Bible, somewhere. <laughs> oh wait, we got 137. It's not quite enough to do the VIP tonight, but let's get it cracking with question number one. Which of these is a major section of the Bible? The New Testament, the All New Testament, or Testament 4.0? What's it gonna be? All right, there are 66 books in total, and they're organized into two major sections with about 400 years of untold stories in between. And the popular names are really easy to remember. The Old and New Testaments. Might be about time for a third volume. I'm just saying. 45,877 players got that right. The New Testament! Yeah! Q2? What'd it do? Which book is not named for a woman? Esther, Ezra, or Ruth? Ah, 
Female representation in the Bible mostly involves putting up with men, but a few strong protagonists rise to the top, including Ruth and Esther. But Ezra was all patriotic. Ezra, y'all, is the answer to Q2. 45,000, 43,591 players got that right. Ezra is the answer I was looking for. Yay, yay. Question number three. Who asked, am I my brother's keeper, Cain, Jacob, or Joseph? Who did it? Lots and lots of brothers appear throughout the good book, but it takes some hubris to make excuses when God comes asking about yours, especially when you know exactly where he is, like Cain did. 40,484, y'all got that right. God is busy, okay? Don't make him do a Columbo routine. He don't like that. Cain was the answer to Q3. Question number four is knocking on your door. In Genesis 1, which gender did God create first? Male, female, or both at once? You don't have to read far to find two versions of the same story. Genesis 2 goes into the details, but chapter 1 just says male and female, he created them in one sentence. So pick your favorite version. Oh my gosh! That's a oh. 753 players. Ha! Ah. Ow! 753, got that right. So many extra lives just got used just now. Woo! Almost 20,000 extra lives. All right, Q5. Which of these biblical figures had the most wives? Abraham, David, or Solomon? We got a whole team of fact checkers over here. All right, sometimes we cut these things close, but there's no way David and his eight wives are gonna top the 700 wives of King Solomon. How did they make it work? Communication and some time apart. That's what I think. 16,228 players got that right. King Solomon had a whole lot of wives. Crazy stuff there. Question number six. Who only got one epistle from Paul? Colossians, Corinthians, or Thessalonians? All right, Paul was the Hamilton of his day, writing like he was running out of time and often rewriting, although one session was enough to tell the uh, Colossians what was on his mind. No word whether they wrote back though. 13,902 got it right. Yeah. Question number seven. Which of these miracles is told in all four of the gospels? Feeding a multitude, healing a leper, or walking on water? What was it gonna be? Miracles appear all through the Gospels, but the book of John is a little light on them, okay? And even John told the tale of feeding 5,000 with one snack pack. With the other three, it was Luke who left the, uh, he left out the water. Feeding a multitude, 10,719 players. Got that right. Jesus really know how to serve up some bread and fish. Question number eight. Which of these is mentioned in the biblical account of the nativity? Ox, manger, or stable? What's it gonna be? For $10,000. Stories get embellished over the years, often for symbolic purposes. As a reminder that Jesus was born into poverty, St. Francis added a stable, and the book mentions no animals at all. There is a manger, though. Manger. 7,013 players got that one right. Woo! Question number nine. Let's get it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Which of these quotes is not from a song? 
The Lord is my shepherd, a lamp unto my feet, or hallowed be thy name. What's it gonna be? There's a lot of comforting, op optimistic stuff in the Psalms, but they don't have a monopoly, okay? The Gospels give us the Lord's Prayer, which is where we get hallowed be thy name. It's not from a psalm. 6,795 of y'all got that right. Matthew's version is more popular than Luke's though, so. There's that. Question number 10, my friends. Time to get it in. Measurements sometimes taken as an estimate of pi are in which book? First Chronicles, First Kings, or Second Samuel? What's it gonna be? Math nerds cringe at these measurements, which give a value of exactly three for pi, but others say, hey, close enough for building a wash basin like Hiram was doing in First Kings. First Kings, y'all. Yeah. Why, oh my gosh, that's another savage question. 1,414 players got that one right. Others say the thickness of the basin's walls explain it. Okay, the writer has responded regarding question four. There were two versions of Genesis, one and two. We were specifically referencing Genesis one. So go grab the Bible, open it up, boom. <laughs> Q11, all dogs go to heaven. Which of Noah's sons was Abraham a direct descendant of? Shem, Ham, or Japheth? Japheth? Did PH make a F sound? Japheth? All right, genealogy is a big deal in the Bible, okay? Long lists of who begat who sometimes interrupt the drama. But you'll find that Abe came directly through nine generations later, through Shem. Yeah, you can't found Judaism if Ham is in your family tree. You know what I'm saying? 986 players moving on to the final question of the game, baby. Woo! Question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Alrighty, Q12. What is not one of the problems prophesied in Revelation? Insects with human faces, poisoned water, or rain of frogs? What's it gonna be? For all the marbles, y'all. Alright, it's gonna get bad. It's gonna get really bad, according to the Bible's thrilling climax. But if you didn't guess frog rain, you're late for last night's Passover game. Yep. Rain of Frogs is the answer we were looking for. That means we have 468 winners of tonight's $10,000 prize, y'all. Woo! Big money, money, money! All right. Five Iron Fan, Dennis SC, Jackapon, Gestron, Engage Me 7, <laughs> Kytus 55, Adonis 2222, Way, No, uh, Mary Nash, Uchi Ha Ha Ha, <laughs> Tutaria, Fendris, everybody's $21.46 richer. That's what I'm talking about on a Palm Sunday fun day. Spectacular performance by all parishioners. And didn't the choir have lovely voices too? Hmm? They sang so beautifully. Now, don't forget, we're as regular as church services here at, and we're doing it every single night. Just like church, we wonder why you're not here more often. So, come by tomorrow when we're celebrating one year back in the business with a special game featuring you, the HQ community, asking the questions. I hope to see you then. It's gonna be fun. And remember that charity, UJA Federation of New York, helping so many in New York and worldwide in so many great ways. They're at ujafedny.org. So head there if you need help or if you have something to offer. 
Until I see you again, I'm Matt Richards asking, does it make a big difference which vaccine you get? Because I'm starting to regret going to that van that had two guys with a vaccine painted on the side. They gave me candy and some cookies, but it was real sketchy. You know what I'm saying? And my arm itched.